In this video, I'll be showing you how to set your Scarlett as Audacity's audio device. This lets you use Scarlett to record and listen in Audacity. Make sure your Scarlett is connected to your Mac. Start by opening Audacity. Head over to Audacity in the top left hand corner. Go to Preferences and then Audio Settings. Start by making sure Core Audio has been set as the host. Now change both playback and recording devices to your Scarlett. To save your changes, press the OK button. Your Scarlett is now set up to record with Audacity. What is buffer size and what is latency? Buffer size affects the amount of time your computer has to process sound and latency is the delay between what is played and what is heard back. The buffer size can be changed here. Changing the buffer size can help you solve problems you come up against whilst recording. If you find that you're getting a slight delay whilst recording, referred to as latency, we suggest you reduce your buffer size. Decreasing your buffer size down to numbers like 32, 64 and 128 help reduce latency significantly. Experiment with these numbers to help understand what works best with your machine. If you find that during playback your session glitches, simply increase the buffer size. Increasing your buffer size up to figures like 256 and 512 helps improve playback performance, especially when you have a high track count. I'm going to set mine to 128 and work from there. Here are some simple rules to follow. When recording, we recommend using the lower numbers. And when playing back, we recommend using the higher numbers. 64 and 128 are good starting points to avoid changing buffer size during your recording experience.